Welcome to this edition of Fast Break. I'm Penny Davis, NCAA National Coordinator of Women's Basketball Officiating. The focus of this video is screening, and we will pay particular focus on screen and role plays in this video. White 33 initially sets a legal on-ball screen. As the defender attempts to go behind the screen, White 33 slides in the direction of the basket and makes contact with the defender, delaying the defender from reaching their desired position. In this case, closing out on the shooter. While the defender does wrap her arm around the screener, the first illegal contact is caused by the illegal movement of the screener. White number 10 inbounds the ball and remains in the backcourt to set a screen for their teammate. The screener sets the screen and then rolls into the path of the trailing defender. This is not incidental contact and should be ruled a foul as the screener caused contact with their opponent by moving into her path without allowing ample time to stop or change directions. A foul should be ruled on this play regardless of whether the player intended to cause the contact or not. While it is legal for screens to be set using the front or back of the body, they still must adhere to the screening principles. Time to stop and change direction are still required to screen this moving opponent. You can see white number five passes and then sets a perimeter screen. She steps back to initiate the contact and delays the defender illegally. A foul should be called on this play. Gray number four sets a legal screen on a stationary player within her visual field. In this case, no distance is required. The screener is then displaced by the opponent, and this is a defensive foul for pushing the screener. A player being legally screened is expected to avoid the contact, and if the screener is displaced or disadvantaged, as in this play, a foul should be called. Offensive players may try and disguise a cut as a screen. In these examples, you will see obvious screens on moving opponents that are illegal and should be ruled illegal screens by the moving offensive player. These offensive cuts, or rub cuts, are illegal screens because they don't provide the defense ample time or distance to avoid contact or change directions, and they cause a delay of the defender. This is not incidental contact. These plays disrupt the freedom of movement in our game and need to be penalized. Thank you for your attention to this critical area of the game and for your support of women's basketball. Are you interested in becoming an official? Go to ncaa.org slash say yes to officiating for more information.